What's happening, Kanajahari? I hope I said that right. Middle and high school, it's Mr. Flood. David Flood here coming back with a follow-up reminder message. I know none of you remember me. I was there May 31st. I mean, at least I think I was there. I'm pretty sure I was there. I was there, maybe three of you remember me, maybe five, maybe eight. Uh, I was there giving some assemblies at the end of May, at the end of school, and I promised the uh, counselors and the administrators there that I would send a follow-up video, uh, which I normally do a few weeks after I'm there, but a few weeks after I'm there, you were all out of school, so that would have been uh, useless. So I said that I would send a video at the beginning of school, which it is. Um, I'm assuming you guys and girls come in this week when you're watching this. Um, maybe you've been in for a couple days. I don't know if you're watching this the first day of school. So I was there giving, uh, you know, was, gave a couple of assemblies. And f first of all, let me say thank you because, you know, my time spent there. I love upstate New York. Um, I love upstate New York. I really, really do enjoy uh, going up there. I think New York is the only state in the country, someone told me this, where you say upstate. Like if, if you live in southern Illinois and then you go up north in Illinois, no one says upstate. Uh, so I think that's something unique to, to New Yorkers, uh, all New Yorkers, not just downstate, upstate New Yorkers. So I, I really enjoy coming to upstate New York and I had a great time there. And you were all, you know, you all treated me with respect for the time that I was at your school. So, so thank you for that. Um, I hope I get a chance to come back. But the real reason for this message, guys and girls, is to remind you of the challenges that I gave you when I was there. And, you know, we all have a built-in forgetter. You know, even if you ask the adults, adult, we forget more stuff than you guys and girls do, without a doubt. As you get older, you just forget stuff. I don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday morning. Um, no, I don't. I, I don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday morning. So don't worry about it if you forgot me. I, I, you know, I don't care whether or not you remember me. I hope you remember something that I said. You know, maybe you remember something I said or, so, you know, some, I made you feel something. I made you feel an emotion, which is good. Happy, sad, whatever. Um, but that's okay that you're, in t you know, that's good that you're in touch with your emotions. So the three challenges that I gave you guys and girls when I were there were one, to look on the inside of people. Do your best. You don't have to do this perfectly, but you do the best you can at looking at people, you know, on the inside and not judging them by the outsides. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Get to know people. Ask them questions about themselves. Just don't prejudge anybody or form an opinion based on the way they look. Walk, talk, act. You know, give just give them some time and look on the inside. It's so very important. And I know that if you do that for others, they'll do it for you. Second challenge, which is super important, is to have connections with, have a bond with, have a have rapport with at least two adults in the building that you can go to when you're struggling. I've been in you know several schools already this year across the country that are open before uh, our schools, and you know I ask kids, are you connected to an adult in the building? And you know most of them say no, which is so, which is just it's just not good. Uh, you need to have a couple of adults that you're connected with in school so you can go to someone when you're struggling. So. Do that, and you do that by saying thank you, reaching out to them, showing them gratitude, showing them respect. They will respect you, obviously, um, if you show them respect. So, so connect with two adults. And the third challenge I gave you guys and girls was, you know, the one that was most important to me. Um, even though I probably didn't spend as much time on this one, it's just, no one eats alone. You know, no one should have to eat alone. It's just this thing that I have about. Uh, you know, I talked a lot about my son Justin when I was there, but it just. Just you have no idea what that meal time, 10, 15, 20 minutes of just being able to sit with someone uh, is so powerful. For, you know, you might not ever realize the impact and the profound effect that you can have on people around you, but no one eats alone. So look on the inside, reach out, show respect for and say thank you to two adults in the building. And that's how you connect with them for nine seconds. And then uh, and of course, no one eats alone. So. Again, for my time at Kanaja Harry, I am grateful. Thank you for the way that you guys and girls treated me. I hope I get a chance to come back. I hope I run into some of you, you know, one day in a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts somewhere uh, in upstate New York or downstate New York or some other state. So, and I hope you all have an awesome school year, safe, um, healthy, uh, and take care of those around you. 
and watch what happens for you when you do that. Have a great day, guys and girls. Be well.